Welcome you to another edition of Wake Up with Wilder. I'm Ted Alexander with the football coach, Bobby Wilder. Coach, I always ask you, after you have a chance to digest and look at the tape, sometimes the game looks a little different. Mm -hmm. NC State 38-14 on the field on Saturday. What did it look like on tape Sunday? A lot, lot of really good things we saw from the video, Ted. This game really came down to third down. That was a whole difference in the game. We were 3 for 12 on third down. Uh, on offense. Uh, our inability to convert on third down led to only 44 plays in this game, which is an all-time low for us. They were 9 for 16 on third down, 1 for 1 on fourth down, and, and they ran 79 plays. So you had a 35-play difference in this game. I thought our defense was outstanding on first and second down. Uh, we got some stops in the second quarter on third down, which is why the game was only 14-7. Uh, with two minutes to go, but we just couldn't convert enough on offense to uh, to really help out our defense in this game. And you think about converting on third down uh, drops, mm -hmm. uh, correctable mistakes. Talk about what you can work on this week to get better. Yeah, I felt like for the third straight game at the start of his career, Shula Bentley played, played solid football. Uh, we didn't turn the ball over on offense. We didn't have any penalties, which that's never happened before here in a game. Uh, which is surprising that we had such a low output of yardage when we, we didn't turn the ball over. But he's playing well, Ted. He's on his reads. He, he checked to a couple really good plays. The touchdown pass to Duhart was a check play by the quarterback. He saw the coverage. He saw a blitz they'd never shown before um, and, and made a really good play. But you, you mentioned the drops, a couple missed throws, all things that we'll continue to get better at. But overall in this game, as I, as I looked at it yesterday on the video, I thought the defense played a solid football game. Special teams was really good. Satchel Ziffer punted the ball well. Ricky Seekers kicked it well. So all things that we can continue to improve on. 12th Monarch, 43rd consecutive sellout at Foreman Field at SB Ballard Stadium. The wide out of Affect your thoughts from your view of the crowd. Phenomenal. Our, our kids were so excited when they came running out of the tunnel before the game. I thought the crowd, particularly in the first half, was just outstanding. Um, we gave them something to cheer for uh, late in the third, early in the fourth with that long touchdown drive to make it 28. 14 and, and still felt like we were right in that game, Ted, at that point. But you got to give a lot of credit to Dave Dorn and North Carolina State. This was a team that was 8-5 and five last year. They're 3-0 and oh this year. They're getting better and better. Uh, they were bigger than we were. They were faster than we were. But I love the way our kids battle. We're just going to keep getting better and better. Nice thing about football is you can't dwell on the wins or the losses. You turn the page. Appalachian State comes to town and we don't need out of the players or the fans an NC State hangover, do we? No, as I told our team even before this game, Ted, this was game three of 12. Uh, the North Carolina State game, App State's game 4 of 12, and the goal was to get as many non-league win wins as we can. We've got an opportunity to be 3-1 and one in the non-league, which gets us halfway to that initial goal of becoming bowl eligible uh, before we start with Marshall and the Conference USA schedule. And App State's a good football program. They're, they're on the same timetable we are, Ted. They were 7-5 and five last year in their second year of transition. And like us, even though they were bowl eligible, there were, there were too many teams, so they couldn't go. They're 1-1 one and one this year. They, they beat Howard 49 nothing at home. They lost to Clemson on the road. They had a bye last week, which will help them you know, get healed up. So good football team. This should be a really good game. And again, we're looking forward to the 44th consecutive sellout mm -hmm. at SB Ballard Stadium, and the 12th Monarch's going to be huge once again. No question, and uh, they've helped us these first two home games. Uh, their performance Saturday night was phenomenal. We'll need another A-plus effort from the 12th Monarchs uh, Saturday afternoon. Don't forget this week, Thursday, Wild Wing Cafe in Chesapeake. It's the Bud Light Bobby Wilder Coaches Show. Then Saturday, a 3.30 kickoff, Old Dominion and App State for the very first time. We'll see you at Foreman Field at SB Ballard Stadium. For the coach, Bobby Wilder, I'm Ted Alexander.